In this next screencast, we're going to take a look at some of the more advanced techniques for creating data blocks. Uh, just to show a little different approach, I thought I would create these data blocks using Eclipse. So you can see I have Eclipse opened and um, I have my uh, project open with a site's default uh, SQL directory in the Northwind uh, the Northwind repository where I'm creating my data blocks from as we saw in the last videos. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and start by uh, creating a new SQL file in the Northwind repository and we'll call this one orders. Now and as per normal we're going to put in the access equals to set security. And what I thought I'd show you next is there's a, a tool in Farina that uh, that makes working, you know, when you start working with data blocks that have a lot of parameters, uh, um, using the MySQL tool or something like that can be a bit cumbersome. So I developed a, a query writing tool in uh, in Farina. It's a new module called the Farina Query Module. Uh, so we're going to go down here and enable the Farina Query Builder. And this creates uh, a new tab under the Structure Farina Reports menu called the Data tab. And once the Data tab is there, then we can actually load and preview our data blocks. So we just created the orders data block. I'm going to go ahead and load that. And you'll see that that basically shows me a select star from, uh, from the orders table. Now, when we're working with uh, with entities like orders, what I want to do is I want to show you how I typically create data blocks to have um, a bunch of different op common optional parameters, uh, particularly uh, those queries that things are, are, are keyed by, so that we can uh, use this data block in several different ways. So you'll notice there's a few IDs in the orders table. There is the customer ID and the employer ID, and there's the ship via ID, which tells you uh, how uh, we have uh, things shipped. And there's a ship region over there. So let's let's create quickly. Whoops, a data block that we will use uh, for. Uh, for loading our our data, uh, for testing, for for querying this data from uh, those variety of different parameters. So in my orders data block, I already have it select star from orders, and maybe I'm going to add an order by clause here. Uh, and in this case, I'll use order date. Uh, oh, it's no no underscore. So order date descending so that it shows me the most current order or recent orders first. But now I'm going to add a, a where clause to this. And this seems a little bit unorthodox, but I'm going to add a where one equal one clause because uh, I don't have any data in this particular case that I'm going to uh, always filter by. So I want the rest of the portions of the where clause to be kind of Optional, and so here's how we make optional parameters in our, in in Farina in the SQL statements. Uh, uh, this if equals syntax, we're going to invent a parameter name. Uh, we'll call. I'll take a look at our table again. Uh, in this case, uh, customer ID is a good one. So uh, so if cus customer, then I'm going to say. And customer ID, oops, customer, right? Yes, okay. And go put an and there. And I'm also going to then add several filter parameters that, uh, well, actually, let's stop here and take a look at our, our new data block. So now if we reload this data block, it will um, now 
show you the new source and we'll see that we have this optional customer parameter. So if I specify rat C, for example, and I hit preview, then this will only load the orders for rat C. So continuing on that theme, um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and add some more uh, uh, parameters that, that can be used to filter this data. So again, if I, if I specify a value of, of shipping, then I want to query on ship via equals shipping and that. And if I specify a parameter of employee ID or employee, then I'm going to add the filter for employee. Again, I'll reload my data block. Whoops, it lost track. Let's try it. Load. And now I have these different parameters, so I can do rat C as I did before, and I can do shipping of two and an employee ID of or, and if I preview that data, then what I'll see is just those things that have a customer ID, an employee ID, and a ship via matched. But if I leave off one of any one of these, then um, then the query will not filter based on those parameters. And this can be really useful for uh, building search forms and things like that, which we'll see more of at, at, uh, on a later date.